What happens when you travel faster than the speed of light? You can't. You can't. I'm Paul Sutter. I'm an astrophysicist and author and a host. And today I'm reading questions from Twitter. This is Astrophysics Support. At Kiron 76333419, will someone please explain what is dark matter? Dark matter, a better name for dark matter is invisible matter. We've, we've noticed through countless observations in astronomy that there simply isn't enough stuff in the universe to account for all the motions and dynamics. And so we think 80 to 90 percent of all the matter in the universe is simply invisible. And, and whoever said it had to be visible? Yeah, that's our rules, not nature's. At Keaton Stone asks, how many exoplanets have been confirmed to date? Please, Astro Pals. Hey, I'll be your Astro Pal today. So as of right now, we have confirmed around four to 5,000 exoplanets with more coming online every single day. And that sounds like a lot, but we suspect that there are around a trillion exoplanets in the Milky Way galaxy. So, and what we're hunting for is an Earth 2.0. We haven't found one yet, but we are finding all sorts of crazy planets. We're finding planets bigger than Jupiter, smaller than Mercury. We're finding planets the size of Jupiter orbiting right up against the face of their stars where they're literally getting their faces melted off. At Daryl, 16519C, question for astrophysicists, do galaxies spin clockwise or counterclockwise? Yes. At rat 69721961, I just have one question, thank you. Why does a person in space age at a different rate than to someone on the Earth? So this has nothing to do with space and everything to do with motion and acceleration and gravity. We've learned through special relativity and general relativity that different clocks tick at different rates. So the faster you move in space, the slower you move in time, the stronger gravity you have, the slower you move through time. Clocks throughout the universe are all asynchronous and out of sync with each other. At NKB underscore Sean, wonder what it's like inside a black hole. The inside of a black hole is probably the weirdest place in the universe. Outside of a black hole, you can go in any direction you want, up or down, left or right, front or back, but you must go into your future. You are forced to travel into your own future. Inside of a black hole, you are forced to travel to the singularity, the point of infinite density in the center. No matter which direction you look, you will always head towards the singularity and you will reach it in a finite amount of time. So have fun in there. At Jesus P1738, serious question. What is a parallel universe? Uh, there's two senses of parallel universe that come into physics. One is through quantum mechanics, where every possible interaction can branch into multiple different possibilities, each representing a different option for that interaction. And another option where uh, the early universe underwent a period of rapid expansion and then different universes bubbled and nucleated off like, like soap bubbles in a foam. We don't know if either of them exist, by the way. At WoManBot, how old is the universe? These are the things I ponder. Hey, I ponder these too. 13.77 billion years old, plus or minus 100 million years. At Coffee Ice Cream, can anyone explain to me what are cosmic rays before I throw these notes down a cliff? Cosmic rays are high energy particles generated in gigantic explosions throughout the universe that are constantly soaking all of space. Just don't leave the earth and you'll be fine. At Dr. David, what are the properties of planetary systems and what can that tell us about how they form and evolve? We have found so many different kinds of planetary systems in the galaxy. Like you can take the craziest sci-fi author with the craziest idea and it still comes up short to what we actually observe in the real galaxy with actual planets around other stars. Take, for example, the TRAPPIST system, the TRAPPIST-1 system. These are seven Earth-like planets orbiting a red dwarf star, where three of them are in the habitable zone of that star, meaning liquid water can potentially exist on their surfaces. So we've seen 
pretty much every combination of planets out there and stars out there. We've seen planets around binary stars, around triple stars. We've seen planets around big stars, around little stars, even dead stars. We're not quite sure what this tells us about the story of planetary formation because we're still gathering that data. We're still mining that treasure. At Swaggy Shrek, Simp. What is astrophysics and why do I want to do it? Astrophysics is the study of all the stuff that happens in the universe and it's awesome. At Crypto Glitter asks, I wish I knew more about astrophysics. Hey, me too. Like, how do binary star systems even work? How does that happen? Space, question mark, exclamation point, repeated several times in a row. And this is why I love astrophysics and cosmology and astronomy. We're just talking about the weirdest stuff in the universe here. Binary stars are actually the most common kind of stars in the galaxy. Because when you form a star, you've got a big cloud of gas and dust and it collapses to form a star. We found multiple star systems all over the place. We were almost a binary star system. We didn't just form the sun, but that same cloud of gas and dust led to the formation of the planets. And so if Jupiter were 20 times bigger than it is, it too would have been a star and life on Earth would have been impossible. At SADI 6765974, when will the universe end? Not soon enough. I'm just kidding. It's probably going to last forever. As far as we know, it is going to continue expanding forever. Eventually, every galaxy will be ripped away from every other galaxy and all temperature differences will diminish until we're left with a cold, empty void. Moving on. At Luvi32, is it possible? The gravity of our galaxy and what makes up our galaxy is why the speed of light from our location seems to be constant. But in other galaxies and places in the universe where things are different, the, the speed of light constant is different. This is a great question because we are constantly wondering if the constants of nature really are constant. And as far as we can tell, every single observation, measurement, and theory has confirmed that the speed of light really has been constant. Seriously, we've tested it. From observations from the very earliest moments of the Big Bang itself, the speed of light is simply the speed of light. And if the speed of light did change, it would totally mess up physics and make, make our lives a lot harder. At GML Music, a casual question for astrophysicists. Hey, let's chat. How many dimensions are there? Four. We know that we live in a four dimensional universe, three of space, one of time interwoven into a fabric that we call space time. There might be more big dimensions or small dimensions, but those are all speculative theories. At Michel Floyd, today's astrophysics question, does the spin of a galaxy influence the spin of other nearby galaxies? It must, it must not, it doesn't. They're billions of light years away. At J Hatman 8, says, what caused the Big Bang? It's hard to believe that a microscopic particle started the Big Bang. Another option I just thought of is a large vacuum and a large pressure collided and boom. We don't know what caused the Big Bang. We don't know what started the universe. Our models of the universe take us to the very earliest moments, but without a theory of quantum gravity, we don't know what started at all. We don't even know if that question even makes sense. At Aegisolf asks, what happens when you travel faster than the speed of light? You can't. You can't travel f that faster than the speed of light. I'm sorry, you just can't. You see, as you get faster and faster, as you approach the speed of light, you have more energy. And in relativity, energy takes more work to accelerate. So you end up requiring an infinite amount of energy in order to travel faster than the speed of light. And so it's just forbidden. When I watch a movie, you know, they're in the spaceship and they, they press the button or, or press the lever and they go faster than the speed of light. I don't care because when I'm watching a movie, I'm not great in homework here, folks. I just want to sit back and relax and enjoy the show. At Xavier underscore HTML, if the universe is made up of mostly space and it's expanding, what's at the edge? More space, the source wall, something beyond human comprehension? At the edge of the observable universe is just more universe. The universe is larger than what we can observe because light can only go so fast and the universe is only so old. 
However, we don't know how big the universe really is. It could be infinitely big or it could just be very, very, very large. But no matter what, the universe doesn't have an edge. It's not expanding into anything. It has no center, it has no edge. I know it doesn't make any sense, but you know, since when has science ever made any sense? At Powell DS, astrophysics question, if you time travel exactly 30 years into the future, you would not be where you started, but in space. Yes? Yes. At equal opposite, astrophysics question, is the quantity of dark matter in the universe increasing, decreasing, or has it remained the same since time equals zero? Yeah, the amount of stuff in the universe, normal matter, dark matter, boring matter, whatever it is, has been the same. The density is dropping though because we live in an expanding universe. Every day our universe gets bigger and bigger and so it's diluting out all that same amount of matter. At Schley, another astrophysics question. If the Earth's axis wasn't tilted, would there be any way to directly observe the passage of a year? Yeah, good, good point here, because it's through the axis of the rotation of the Earth that we get our seasons and the transitions of the seasons. But even if we didn't have that tilt, we would still be able to notice the passage of a year because of the stars that we would see. As we go around the sun in our solar system, we see different sets of stars on our night sky, and it rotates continuously through the year. So anyone who can observe the night sky night after night over the course of a year would be able to figure out that we do have a year. At Thin Lens, if you have a car that travels faster than the speed of light, what happens when you turn on the headlights? First, you can't travel faster than light, but no matter how fast you're going, the light always comes out of your headlights at the speed of light, because that's what light does. Here we have at Upili. Hi there. Hello. I have an astrophysics question, and my question is, is the structure of the universe as it stands at its current level of expansion related to the original singularity that resulted in the Big Bang? Hmm. Not quite. Uh, uh, at the very largest scales, we see something called the cosmic web. It's the very largest pattern found in nature. It's literally made of galaxies. But the cosmic web had its origins, but in the earliest moments of the Big Bang, where quantum fluctuations in space-time itself led to tiny little density differences. And then over the course of billions of years, these density differences grew up to become clusters of galaxies in the, in the great cosmic voids. At P.W. Brewer, question for astrophysicists, that's me. How far from Earth could you detect a Hiroshima-sized atomic blast with our technology? Uh, like, yay far. We'd probably spot it on the other side of the solar system, but that's it. At Rough Schrade, whenever I read about science, I find I'm woefully out of depth. How can quasars produce radio waves and why can't I listen to them? Radio waves come from, uh, you take charged particles and you wiggle them around and it generates radio waves. So quasars are spewing out charged particles, they make radio waves and you can listen to them. We detect quasars with radio telescopes and radio antenna. So you can, you're just tuning into the wrong station. You need a Quasar FM. At Artem Zinn, astrophysics question, into the void. Should it be possible to blow up a black hole from the inside? No, but they naturally dissolve through Hawking radiation. You just need to wait like 10 to 100 years. And that's not 10 to 100, that's 10 to the 100th power years. So be patient. Thank you for all of these amazing questions. I hope you learned something about astrophysics. I hope I was able to help and I hope you had as much fun as I did.